I wanted to show my setup for my 3D printed knitting machine. It's the Mr. Roboto version that has the river. It's not the, uh, the same one that I printed a few years ago that uh, the cylinder turns instead of the uh, camshell. So I really like this one because of the river and it's more like the metal knitting machines. But what I purchased was, I believe it's called a flip top uh, work support table or something like that. I'll try to include a link for it, but it's made by Rigid. You probably can find them at the um, Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm not sure who sells them. I bought mine on Amazon and they had two in the pack because I needed a table for my Erlbacher knitting machine and this one. So I did make some modifications to it to make it work. And um, you'll see underneath, I just put an old sock there to hang my fork weights on. And where the machine sits here, I have a little rectangle cut out. And you'll see when I get underneath the table. Because I wanted this to be up as close as I could to the table to get as much support as I could because before we had this clamped onto the table and it was sticking way out and wobbled quite a bit. So with the little rectangle cut out, it gives me a lot more surface to support the knitting machine. So this is a piece of um, MDF that I cut to fit and I bolted it through and through to the other side. I uh, drilled a couple of holes to hang my scissors and my screwdriver. I hope I'm not getting you sick moving this camera around. And on this other side, I 3D printed a, a cup that I could put my tools in. And you'll see it hanging down underneath it. Just I drilled a big hole in the top and 3D custom 3D printed a, a cup to drop down in there. I'm not sure if I still have the files, but this is something that's really easy to design in Tinkercad. It's a free program online, so it's really easy. You just put a little rim around the top so that it doesn't fall through the hole, and then you you design the cup to to drop through. I'll try to find my files. I'm not sure if I still have them. Um, let's see what else. Okay, in the back, and I am not good at knowing what which call all these things. I think it's a turnbuckle. I put a an eye bolt up here underneath the table to pull down on the back because there's so much weight on the front, and I just I think I drilled a hole. It's been a while since I've done this, so I can't really remember. It either already had a hole there or I drilled one all the way through so I could strap some zip ties on there to to secure this turnbuckle and then you tighten it down and uh, it will give some tension on the back of the table um, these legs also have some hooks you can hang weight i love it that you can adjust this thing you can actually stand up and knit if you wanted to um, the other thing that i did was I don't know if this is going to show well, but the the orientation, let's see if I can get underneath here. I turned, it's hard to find working in the, cam the camera viewfinder. Um, I turned this support that came with the table, I turned it horizontal. It was going the other way because it's made to support your work, I think, as your... Um, cutting boards and things like that. So I turned it horizontal to be in line with the legs so that um, I could better make better use of where you sit to knit. And this is a view. I'm gonna come down underneath my knitting machine and you can see the little rectangle that I cut out. Now on this plastic work support the flip top. I did have to saw out a few areas to make it easier to mount uh, my, um, my, oh, what do you call it? 
this um, bed that we mount our knitting machine to, I needed to be able to uh, screw into, and some of the uh, plastic was in the way, so I just kind of marked. And I don't think I have that on there centered. I don't remember why I did it that way, but it's, it's not completely centered on the MDF. But this table is working out really well, and I also made one for my, um, my Earl Bacher. And I really love having all my tools and everything handy. So um, I did update um, that I showed in a previous video. I did update the uh, yarn break, and I've done a few of the modifications that Steve added, uh, the, the new versions that he added. I did print up the new... Um, Oh, what do you call it counter bracket so that you could tilt this as needed so you could see it better so so far I really like this setup and maybe this will give you some ideas for making your own table